Oh yeah, it's your girl Ray doing another video real quick. 914, Westchester County, New York. We always on top, never gonna be on the bottom. It's early in the morning and I just felt like doing a video real quick. Real quick. Um, I wanna talk about these female politicians for a few seconds. Um a lot of people talk about Rush Limbaugh and Michael Savage and how they was always downing the Democratic Party. Well, they were conservatives, right? So of course they was going to be against the Democrats. No matter what the Democrats did, they was going to be speaking out against them. And it is what it is. But these new school politicians, they are shameful. They're, they are very shameful. That Kamala Harris, the Vice President of the United States, I would like to see her take a more strong, positive stance on certain issues. She's not going to do it because she's a coward. Okay? We've had female politicians in the past that had done more for American citizens than, than, than what she's doing. Why is she even vice president? Who voted that clown in? I'm, I'm, come on. I'm talking to you seriously. We had Shirley Chisholm years ago. I mean, that woman had spunk. That woman had fire. She did things for her district, and her district was located in Brooklyn, New York. This woman was a Congress woman. I mean, she did things to help her district in Brooklyn, New York. She was never silent on any issue. Never silent. We had Fannie Lou Hamer. She was registering to vote years ago. Got beat up by the police. Was harassed. There was a certain attempts made on her life. We had Maxine Waters. Maxine Waters is still in Congress. 84 years old. In Congress still. The people in her district keeps voting her in. Knowing that this woman should go ahead and retire. I'm not, I'm not speaking bad about Maxine Waters. But I think that her time in Congress is over. But the reason why she can't leave... Because there's, there's no one to replace her. There's really no one to replace Maxine Waters. We've had Barbara Jordan. Another Congress lady who did stuff for her district. Who worked with different uh, uh, people in her community. She gave speeches. I mean, this woman was powerful. We've had other women. Black activists. Women that was a part of the Black Panther Party. They did more for their community than this Kamala Harris. She speaks in, she speaks in riddles. She doesn't answer questions directly. It, it, it seems to me like she's a coward. They're just using her. And when they get done with using her, she will be tossed to the side. She has no backbone. No spine. No nothing that makes her a true leader. We, even in China, in China's history, they had Madame Zedong, the wife of Chairman Mao. 
she was she was over there doing what she was doing in her country in China. Of course, you know they eventually, you know, threw her to the side and put her in jail. The woman ended up dying. But Madame Zedong, when she was helping her husband run the country, what did she do? She stopped all that bullshit. With the, what the country was trying to do to the women, binding their feet, all that bullshit. She helped everyone that was in their Hollywood. Whoever was an actor, a singer, any kind of entertainer, she looked out for them. Oh, yes, they want to say, oh, she was communist and she was a villain and she did this and she did that. I don't give a fuck what that woman did that was wrong. At least she had a spine. She had courage. She had heart. That was a real thug. Kamala Harris is not a thug. She's a coward. Peace out, y'all. I'm I, I'm just really uh, frustrated with these uh new female school politicians, and I blame those of you who don't know anything about voting. You don't know anything about politics. You don't know anything about economics. You don't know anything about the working class. I blame you. You're ignorant. You voted these people in. Why? Goddamn Joe Biden. That's somebody's great grandfather. Y'all voted him in. He's a racist. He's more of a racist than Donald Trump is. When them rappers came out with their, their songs years ago, they, everybody was singing about Donald Trump. Donald Trump. How all of a sudden he became racist when he became president? And if he was, he wasn't the only racist we had sitting in the White House. How many times are we going to keep doing that? <laughs>